Hi, and welcome to the Ultimate Game Host video tutorial on finding your Steam ID from outside of a game. Uh, this is useful when you're setting up a server or an admin plugin, uh, pretty much any maintenance tasks where you need your Steam ID and you don't want to have to go into game to get it all set up. So the first thing we want to do is make sure Steam isn't running because we won't be able to look at the files we need to if it is. So make sure your Steam is turned off and exited, not logged in at all and um, you'll want to get to your Steam folder. I've made a shortcut in this case on the desktop to the Steam folder. Uh, mine's in a different place than a lot of yours might be. Yours might be in your C drive, program files, Steam, something like that. The point is to find this this folder. You can always search for the Steam folder if you want. And the file we're looking for in here is steam.log right there. Uh, had mine for quite some time so it's almost five megabytes in size and it has things from when it was first used. And If we open up this file you can see okay so if you scroll all the way to the bottom of this file you'll see a bunch of different uh, different lines for things that happen with the Steam client and one of the things you'll notice is these commands the connection pool commands and the session commands. The session ones are the ones we're interested at first because you want to make sure this is your Steam account you're looking at. So in this case UGH demo is the fictitious name of our Steam account and that's where it attempted to create a session and then the connection pool is where we get the information we want which is uh, right at the end of this it's talking about a new connection to an IP and a port number for and the part after four right here is your Steam ID. Now yours might start with a one colon zero colon a few more numbers or less numbers. The point is that's the last part of your Steam ID. And what we can do on that is do an edit and a copy. Open up uh, Notepad and you can paste that in there. And for most admin plugins you have to have Steam on the front of it set up in the usual format. So we'd want to type in Steam all in capital letters with an underbar right after it and that right there would be your entire Steam ID for the account listed above in the file. If you have multiple Steam accounts on the computer you're going to need to find the connection attempts that happen after your account was logged in in particular otherwise you're going to be putting a different Steam ID into the file. Thank you for watching and good luck!